I'm Dr. Edie Witter. I am the president and senior scientist and co-founder of the Ocean Research and Conservation Association. I was here today for the Community Foundation of Palm Beach and Martin County that gave ORCA an award uh, for the research that we're doing for water quality control and uh, I was giving a presentation to a bunch of uh, people that are very concerned about the Indian River Lagoon. I started my career as a deep sea biologist and I've had actually a spectacular career exploring the deep oceans, but I've become increasingly concerned about the state of that ocean and distressed about the fact that we're basically destroying it before we even know what's in it. And so that was what precipitated the co-founding of ORCA in 2005. And a lot of what I did as a deep sea explorer was work with engineers in order to develop new technologies to answer the questions I had about the life in the deep sea. And I'm now doing that with ORCA, working with engineers in order to meet the challenges that we're facing in our aquatic ecosystems. And I think a lot of that has to do with innovating new technology so that we can actually see what's going on beneath the waves. Because I think a lot of the problem is a lot of what's going on out there is going on out of sight and out of mind. And so we really need to get people aware of how they are impacting these ecosystems that they all love. That's why they moved here. But we're loving it to death. And so I think it would be wonderful if people could realize that there are small changes that they can make in their lifestyles that it can actually impact these waterways in major ways, using low phosphate soaps, not fertilizing their lawns, uh, re-landscaping their properties so that you don't have huge amounts of uh, irrigation water being used and tremendous amounts of pesticides and fertilizers running into our waters, making sure that septic tanks are properly maintained. All of these things add up and have a major impact. It used to be that dilution was the solution to pollution. That's not true anymore because there's just too many of us. And if we want these ecosystems to go on being the beautiful places that we moved here to enjoy, then we have to be working together to be able to maintain them. This is Kilroy, that little uber GI of World War II fame that was everywhere. Well, we want our Kilroy to be everywhere because this is our solution to the pollution problem in that what we've been developing here is a low-cost method of monitoring water quality. Uh, our principal engineer, Dr. Eric Thostason, has a lot of expertise in developing low-cost methodologies. And so he's designed this the same way you would design a cell phone, with the idea that you can mass produce these things and drive their costs way down. And that's what we've done with Kilroy. So the idea is to have hundreds of these out there in the water telling us in ways that the public and the policymakers can easily understand exactly what's going on and actually being able to move the needle on conservation. So if we get people to work together to commit to using no phosphate soaps, do they see a change? And Kilroy can tell us that. And I think that those are the kind of things that can start really making a major difference in protecting our most precious resource. Foundations like the Community Foundation and donors are critical to us at this juncture because developing technology like this is very difficult to do. There really isn't a lot of government funding available to develop something on this kind of scale. There's often funding for initial ideas, but to take it to the manufacturing process is very, very difficult. We're fairly close now to taking it to manufacturing, but we need to get over that hump. And so we are tremendously grateful to the Community Foundation for coming forward at this critical juncture.